Hello, everyone. My name is Sadek Shahadu. I am doing this video to show you how you can upload um, photos to Wiki Labs Management 2021 in Ghana. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. If you have seen this advert anywhere, so I'm going to. Okay, so if you open any Wikimedia project like Wikipedia or any other sister projects, you should see the advert running on the top bar here, which means you can participate if you are in Ghana. And um, to be able to participate, you first of all need to know the basic rules and regulations of um, Wikilabs Monument. Wikilabs Monument is an international photographic contest run like one of the biggest in the world um, run um, around this time every year um, and it's mostly contributed by volunteer um, contributors or professional photographers any other person can participate and yeah you can participate from the country that you live in so <clears throat> what are monuments first of all monuments are buildings that most of us no, like the castles, forts, the museums. We also have other things like the shrines, um, you know, artifacts, like the slave um, um, sites, um, the tools that they used to capture slaves during the slavery, and the chains and all of that are called, um, are all considered monuments. So if you have pictures of these, in your phone or maybe anywhere you can upload them to this project who knows you might win we have a local contest and then international so if you win within ghana your photo is likely to be selected for the um, international contest and you can win a lot of prizes so let's move on uh, i want to open the contest i'll just click on the advert here okay so when you click here you will see the landing page for ghana there's an international um, page where you can learn more about the country, but this one has been sim simplified so that you can fully, um, you know, participate. And you can read the contest, more about the contest, and then how you can participate. The first thing to note is that um, your photos, may just make sure you follow the basic rules of the competition. All photos must be your own work, and do, do, they should not have watermarks very important don't upload other people's work from social media facebook twitter whatsapp you cannot upload pictures from that uh, platforms but people can send you photos through telegram or maybe um as email attachment and you download them and upload them here you can also upload photos that you have already uploaded on Flickr. you can use them to participate in the contest and then um, all photos to be able to uh, to participate you need to submit all your photos within september Make sure photos are licensed under CC by SA. So this uh, is auto, um, you know, it's been fixed. So you don't need to do anything about the licenses. Um, yeah, participants should have a valid Wikimedia uh, user name and password. So you'll be able to participate. You cannot participate if you have not logged in. But um, I would also like to highlight that um, there are other places you cannot take. For example, with the issue of freedom of panorama. Ghana currently, <clears throat> we are restricted to uh, set, taking pictures of certain buildings because of freedom of panorama. For example, the uh, recent, um, uh, the, the recently launched the National Mocks, which looks really iconic and serves as a national uh, monument. It's a monument, but because we are in Ghana and we cannot, because of um, freedom of panorama, we cannot upload such photos the only time you can upload them uh maybe 70 years after the death of the person so if the person lives from today up to maybe the next 30 years uh, addition you have to then maybe die after 70 uh, 30 years from now it means you are 30 years that is when the person died plus 70 years after the death of the person that's like 100 years before you can upload or use that um, um you know picture of the mocks without uh, worrying about the issue of freedom of panorama or copyright violations. This is because it's a creative work by somebody and it's been copyrighted. It's an architectural work 
the uh, presidential palace, or uh, how do I call it, the Flagstaff House, it's also like that. But buildings that are old, like the castles, museums, like Bahamas, are probably those who built it died long ago, and they are more than like <laughs> even 100 years or so. So they are all uh, monuments, shrines, old shrines, um, you know, slave, sent, uh, cast, slave, slave um, sites, um, artifacts that were used to capture slaves and all of that are all considered monuments. They can be dresses, they can be chains, sword and all that, all are part of the monument you can capture. So this and many more are qualified as monuments. Now, are you ready to submit your photos? So to participate, we just click here. Make sure you are logged in, as I said. Once you log in, you would have to, to, to yeah, you see select files to share, or you can drag and drop them here, or you can share your photos from Flickr if you have already uploaded them to Flickr, because Flickr uses the same slices as Wikimedia Commons. Then I select, click on select. Then I will have to scroll down all the way to find my monument picture. We should create a folder where you can find all of them easily. So I will just click on this. I have this photo that I want to upload. Now that art it was self taken by myself. Ah, so this file has already been uploaded. So <laughs> it means I need to select another file. So let me try out a different, I don't know if I have another photo. I'm just looking for more photos. So this photo, for example, is um, the Usu Castle. I took that picture, so. I'm going to upload this photo. It takes a little while to upload, depending on the uh, speed of your internet. Oops, that one also exists. Oh. Okay, so for the purpose of this training, I'm just going to like give a shot. I don't really know which photos um, <clears throat> I have not uploaded. So, but just make sure the photo doesn't exist on Wikimedia Commons yet. Takes a little while to upload. <clears throat> so you can contribute as many photos as you like. And like I said, just make sure the pictures are your own work. You cannot take them from social media. You can use them only from uh, your original photo, or maybe you have the permission to upload them if somebody has taken them. <clears throat> and then the next step is to. Okay, this has been uploaded, so I'll click on continue. Remember, this is just a this demonstration, so it may not be a monument, but that's Moli National Park. It's a picture that I took myself. And here, very important, as we were uh, reading from the first uh, session, um, I shall Sadiq, the copyright holder of this work, irrevocably grant anyone the right to use this file, this work under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0. You can click here to see the legal code if you like, but this is just to give the um, permission for people to use or work under Creative Commons license, which we'll be talking about later. 
But once you are satisfied with this lenses, you just click on next. Here is where you give a title of your image. So um, if it was monument elephants, but you know, to some extent I can still upload them here. Elephants at Molly Park. Park. Okay. So then I give a description. For the title, you can, if it's a monument that is found in the northern part of Ghana, you would probably want to give the, the name in your local language so that uh, it will help in identifying them. For the Dabani Wikipedia example or the Bruni Wikipedia, you can give your own name or you just put it in bracket. Then the local name. The description, you should type the description. Even though it's optional, but it's, it is important to type the description in your language uh, and English. So here I can say um, two elephants grazing at the Modi National Park. That could be a description of what exactly the image talks about. You can add another description in your language. So I will select another language, maybe Dabani. Dabani is here. Yes, Dabani. And I type it in Dabani. Wabre. Wabre, the spelling, because of my. I cannot type it well because my keyboard is not, uh, but I'll just type some robbery. Bin the Wally Park. This is just a sample, so make sure you give your description very well, concisely in English and in uh, your language. You can add as many languages as you like. Then you move to the next step, which is the date. You just click on the calendar and then you select the dates uh, no, let me select the date so you can set the date to which year you want and i select the date or when the picture was taken so once you set your dates can be today or any other day you like and then the category is very important the first default category is cultural heritage monuments in Ghana. Here you can add more categories that depicts this topic. So let's say northern Ghana. You can put more northern Ghana or more um, images from Wiki Labs Monuments 2021. In Ghana. In Ghana. So there's a category like that. Images from Wikilabs Monument 2021 in Ghana. Once you create your category, it also requires that you not require actually, but it is important to put there. Ghana's material cultural heritage number. Most of them have cultural heritage numbers. If you don't have, just leave it optional. In the categories, you can keep it like this or you add category that are useful to this um, picture. So once I'm done, the highlight is the image title should be unique and concise. The description should come in your language as well, English and your language. The file name can be um, your local uh, name and English, if you like. So just make sure it is unique. Once you are done, you just click on publish. Okay, so this is a network issue. If you have a stronger internet connectivity, your file should, should have been submitted by now. And once it is done, you see, thank you for uploading your file for this uh, particular um, contest. 
So I hope this helps. If you have any question, please send us an email, thebank.wikimedians at gmail.com or if you send us a message on Facebook or Twitter or just anywhere. If you are on the WhatsApp, you can message me or any other person. Thank you so much. And I hope this video was useful. Remember, uh, you do not need to participate in photo works to be able to uh, submit your photos. You can upload old photos or new photos, provided they were taken by you. Good luck to everyone. Thank you. Bye.